what is egg freezing and what is sperm freezing eggs they are produced from a woman sperm is produced by a male egg and the sperm are the reproductive gametes in male in female and male respectively an egg is needed for a pregnancy to happen what if few years down the line the woman lands up with no eggs this is where egg freezing and sperm freezing comes into play so basically what happens in egg freezing is you develop multiple eggs extract it and then you freeze the eggs in liquid nitrogen until she desires for future pregnancy or the man desires for the future pregnancy the egg and the sperm can be frozen for life until they decide when to have their child at what age should one consider egg or sperm freezing and what factors influence their their decision age does it really matter at what age do you need to freeze the eggs more than age it's the ovarian reserve ovarian reserve is basically it tells how much of eggs are remaining in a woman's body a person can be very young maybe about 20 25 years and her ovarian reserve is very low and she's not even married what do you do in such case is it just related to the age no a very young woman who decides to push her pregnancy or get delayed in getting married get a fertility evaluation done get your amh done get your ovarian reserve testing done just to know where you stand suppose if your eggs are low in number it's ideal to go ahead and freeze your eggs irrespective at that point so that at least you stand some chance to have pregnancy in the future now there are so many married couples who would want to push their pregnancy suppose a woman gets married at 28 29 years and she doesn't want her children perfectly acceptable because it's a lifestyle choice it is their decision it's her body and it's perfectly respectable what we do here is we again stimulate develop multiple follicles extract the eggs and we freeze it so this is called egg freezing and she can maybe about after 30 years anyone can undergo this so that their fertility is preserved egg freezing most importantly is for unmarried women for married women who are very sure of the partner we always prefer embryo freezing embryo happens after egg and the sperm meets because embryos are much sturdier what are the other scenarios where egg freezing is done suppose if the man or a woman is undergoing cancer treatment more importantly when they are undergoing any kind of chemotherapy chemotherapy basically destroys your gametes be it sperms or eggs this is where you need to go ahead get your egg freezing done or semen freezing done before you take any kind of cancer treatment what are the success rate of egg and sperm freezing for successful pregnancies yeah the success rate in oocyte freezing or egg freezing is almost about 40 to 45% in sperms the gametes are very well stored when we compare to eggs but egg freezing is much better option than no eggs at all so people who want to try and push the pregnancy for a period of time egg freezing is a boon for them i would recommend all the women or girls who want to push their pregnancies please get the egg freezing done so that you know you can be free to choose your career options are there risks or side effects associated with egg and sperm freezing process absolutely no the egg retrieval process is done with very minimal anesthesia and it is not painful sperm freezing is the least invasive way they just have to give the sperm and absolutely no risk at all sperm be safely stored and what happen if one decide to use them later once eggs and sperms are frozen they are frozen for life it's a very important aspect to know that when you're going to take out the eggs out of freezer and sperms out of freezer that time has to be decided maybe about 6 months from now 6 years from now or about 10 years from now or 20 years from now so there's no time limit the only important aspect is the egg and the sperm has to be well preserved what is the cost of egg and sperm freezing and is it covered by insurance some companies in india have started to cover fertility treatments and some companies software companies do offer financial assistance up to 1 1 1/2 lakhs for the egg freezing or for ivf treatment the cost would be somewhere around 1 lakh 1 1/2 lakhs uh, you know freeze the egg and every year there'll be add on there'll be yearly charges 
to maintain the uh, frozen eggs. Uh, can lifestyle factors impact the success of egg and sperm freezing? The most important aspect for a successful pregnancy after egg freezing would be the quality of egg at the time of freezing. How do we know the quality of egg? We will not know the quality of egg when we do the scan or in any which ways. We will know the quality only when we look at the egg under the microscope. How do you make your chances to have a better quality egg? Most important lifestyle changes. Suppose if you are overweight or obese, before you undergo any kind of egg freezing, please lose weight. Because weight, any increase in weight will hamper the quality of egg and whatever procedure you are undergoing will not be much helpful. Smoking, drinking, it should not be there. Importantly, exercise. When you exercise, exercise is needed for a physical body. So when you do all of this, the chances of we retrieving good quality egg is high. What is the process of thawing and using frozen eggs and sperm when ready to conceive? So basically what happens is, the eggs are frozen and kept in, dipped in liquid nitrogen. What I mean by thawing process is, you take out the egg from the liquid nitrogen and all the freezing goes away. The egg slowly comes back to life. This is the thawing process. Freezing time will take about 15 minutes. Thawing time is also about 15 minutes. This happens in a closed monitored environment. There is a particular temperature that we need to thaw the oocyte. And once after thawing, we actually inject the husband's sperm and then on the process is regular like any other IVF cycle. Once we thaw the egg, there is no looking back. We need to go ahead and transfer the embryos. There are scenarios where people say, okay, we'll thaw the egg, we will freeze the embryo. That's not an ideal situation. So once you have decided that you want to go ahead with pregnancy, thaw the egg, get the embryo done and go ahead with embryo transfer. That ensures you will have good success rate. How do age and overall health influence the success of egg and sperm freezing? Age, yeah, very important question. Age in a woman, age is an important aspect like I said, but along with that, there are very interesting scenarios, rare scenarios where the age is very young and yet the quality of egg will not be good. So ultimately, it's not about the number, it's about the quality of egg. That makes a lot of difference in achieving pregnancy. Are there any alternative fertility preservation options besides egg and sperm freezing? There are other options too, like ovarian tissue freezing. Basically, what ovarian tissue freezing does is, you take a strip of the ovary and then you put it in the liquid nitrogen so that it preserves all the basic cells. This is currently under research and no, nobody is practicing this because this doesn't give much result like how oocyte freezing does or, and how sperm freezing does. Yes, at this point of time, egg freezing, sperm freezing, embryo freezing is the only feasible option that gives rise to good pregnancy. As a woman and as an infertility specialist, I would recommend anyone who wants to push their pregnancy please freeze their eggs. Even if they have not decided whether they want to conceive, they want to become a mother, at this point of time, thoughts might be different. But ideally, to go ahead, preserve the eggs and then decide your way forward. Cancer patients, please freeze your egg and sperm. You're already fighting a lot. It's an additional thing, just freezing, so that it helps you to decide due course of time whether you want to go ahead or you don't want to go ahead but chemotherapy as it destroys everything it's always better to preserve your fertility before you undergo any kind of treatment for any help or any uh, doubts that you have you can always comment we'll get back to you we at Janista are there to help you help you achieve your dreams help you you know reach the doors towards parenthood you're always welcome